reversing valve, a key component in heat pumps. The reversing valve is what allows a heat pump to switch between heating and cooling modes, making the same AC unit function as a heater during winter and a cooler during summer. Now, let's learn how the reversing valve works. This is the reversing valve and this is the solenoid valve. The reversing valve has four ports. One port is connected to the compressor's discharge line and another port is connected to the compressor's suction line. On the right side, one port is connected to the indoor unit and on the left side, one port is connected to the outdoor unit. Inside the reversing valve, there is a movable piston that changes position depending on whether it's in heating or cooling mode. When in cooling mode, this piston connects the compressor's suction line to the indoor unit. In heating mode, the piston connects the compressor's suction line to the outdoor unit. The solenoid valve plays a crucial role in moving the piston inside the reversing valve. Within this solenoid valve, there is a small reversing valve with four ports. One port is connected to the compressor's discharge line and another is connected to the suction line. The remaining two ports are connected to the left and right sides of the main reversing valve. The solenoid valve operates through electromagnetic effects and has a spring inside. When the thermostat is set to heating mode, it sends a 24 volts power supply to the solenoid valve. This creates an electromagnetic force that moves the solenoid valve. At this point, high pressure refrigerant from the compressor's discharge line enters the reversing valve and flows through the line to the right side of the piston, applying pressure. Simultaneously, the refrigerant on the left side of the piston is sucked out through the reversing valve and into the compressor's suction line. This pressure difference moves the piston to the left side, connecting the compressor's discharge port to the indoor unit port and the suction port to the outdoor unit port. The AC unit now works as a heater. When the thermostat switches to cooling mode, the 24 volts power supply to the solenoid valve is cut off. The spring inside the solenoid valve moves it back to its original position. This changes the ports of the small reversing valve inside the solenoid valve. Now, high pressure refrigerant enters the reversing valve through the discharge line and flows to the left side of the piston, applying pressure. At the same time, refrigerant on the right side of the piston is sucked out into the compressor's suction line. This moves the piston to the right side, connecting the compressor's discharge port to the outdoor unit port and the suction port to the indoor unit port. The AC unit now works as a cooler. This is how the reversing valve allows an AC unit to switch between heating and cooling modes. I hope this video gave you a clear understanding of how the reversing valve works. If you found this video helpful,